is... I don't know what. I wanted to do something very colorful and glittery, especially because I recently got this adorable unicorn onesie and I am honestly living. Seriously, one of the best purchases I've ever done. So I am super excited to sit down and do a makeup tutorial, which I have not done in quite a long time. And to be honest, I've been really freaking depressed these past couple of days. Been really upset because of things that have been going on in my personal life. So right now I'm pretty much sitting down doing something that makes me happy to pretty much cheer me up and I recently bought this unicorn onesie and I am living. So uh, I'm happy that I got to do pretty much all this madness today. I have glitter, I have a lot of colors. Um, I feel like my makeup looks really, really cakey right now and I have a lot of acne spots on my face, but you know what, I'm just like, if I did not do this video today, it was never gonna get done. So it was either today or never. So here I am. Awesome. So if you guys want to see how I did this madness, then just keep on watching. So I pretty much already did my eyebrows off camera, and for that I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, and I'm in the shade Ebony. I also used a concealer to pretty much cover them out, and also conceal my eyes. I did go a little bit lighter on the concealer just because I want these eyeshadows to pop as much as possible. Since the look that I'm trying to go for is very, very colorful, glittery, I'm just like, you know what, let's get some unicorn colorful madness over here. So let's get started on that. And for that, I'm going to be using the Nyx's Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette. It kind of looks like this. It's actually very, very pretty. You have some matte shades, some shimmery shades, and then you have your glittery shades at the bottom, and it's a very, very, very gorgeous pastel-y um, eyeshadow palette, and this is what I'm planning on using. I may use some other eyeshadows, but I'm still trying to decide. I'm not the type of person to just go ahead and use a lot of makeup palettes or a lot of single shadows. I always used to like stick with just one eyeshadow palette just so that I don't have to work as much or just get as many products, but I will see what I can do and try to limit myself to just using this palette. I'm gonna be using this matte pink shade on the top and using this as my transition shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that right on the crease. And I'm pretty much just layering over it with the exact same pink to build up the color intensity. Okay, so I kind of lied. I'm actually going to take a little bit of star power from the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette and apply this with the pink because I feel like this pink is just not hot enough for uh, what I want. I'm tapping off the excess and going ahead and... Um I think I'm actually going to take a little bit of a concealer in the back of my hand and I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to pretty much apply this on my lid and on my crease. I don't plan on doing a cut crease with this, but let's see what happens. And very quickly, I'm going to take the glittery blue shade and apply this right over the concealer. Just believe me, this day will really stay with me while I'm gonna take this purple shade from the Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm gonna put that right in the outer corner and blending it with the blue. Pretty much taking the purple and also blending it a little bit on the crease, keeping it below the pink. Taking a little bit more of the pink and using it to blend the purple and the pink together. So those are the eyes pretty much done. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of the face. I'm first going to start off by priming using the Clinique Pepstart Hydro Blurring Moisturizer. Now I actually like this because it really does hydrate my skin while at the same time blurring any imperfections. Also, it does work as a primer for makeup, hence why I put it on before I do anything. And for a little bit of extra priming, I'm going to be using MAC Studio Fix Plus on my face, just spritzing this. Now, I am going to be concealing some areas since... I did get a little bit of redness during the weekend. And for 
foundation, I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Foundation, and I'm in the shade 16 Toasted Wheat. Just going to pretty much dot this on my face in stripes. A little bit goes a really long way. And I'm going to take my Damp Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just blend all of that out. Give me this Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Medium Honey. Just placing this right in my highlight areas. Stay with me. Now very quickly, I'm going to take a little bit of setting powder and just pretty much set this whole thing. the rest of my face I'm using a foundation powder by Kat Von D and this is in the shade medium 62. And as per usual I'm going to bronze up my skin using Max Give Me Sun and I'm gonna take that and just bronze up my skin give me that golden tan. I've been out in the sun not staying home, watching Netflix like a depressed piece of shit, which is actually what I do, but you know what? We can't have the world thinking I do that, so... Now I'm taking that purple shade I used from earlier and I'm putting that right in the bottom lash line. Now I'm taking a little bit of that shimmery green from the NYX's palette and I'm placing that right in the inner corner of the bottom lash line. Taking a tiny bit of that pink and pretty much using it to diffuse the purple and the green on the bottom lash line. Now I'm taking the NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk and applying this to both my waterlines to make them look a little bit more cartoonish. And for highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. To make this look a little bit more fun and glittery, I'm going to be taking the Cosmetic Glitter from Star Crush Minerals, and this is in the shade Enchanted Evening. It's kind of like a very colorful, like, dual chrome glitter. And I'm gonna place that basically right in the inner corners of my eyes. And mm, I'm trying to see what other places I can put it at. So I'll just get right back to you once I'm done with that. Stay with me while we Lastly, I'm gonna put some mascara and throw on a lip off camera, but I will be right back with the final results. Now, I already pretty much put on some mascara off camera, and I put a little bit of a gloss on my lips. I'm not really fond of putting on false lashes. Of course, if you want to put on false lashes, then do you do it. Wear the biggest, fluffiest, most fantastic pair of lashes you want. However, because I have two different size eyes, it just looks really, really weird on me. So that's why I tend to not wear false lashes, at least at certain times for certain makeup looks. And also, I just like wearing gloss because I like the masculinity of having like a nude lip with just a little bit of gloss on top. If you want to put on a very colorful lip, again, by all means, do you. I was actually debating on putting like a bright pink or kind of a... I don't know, kind of like a berry red, but I like how it looks like with the gloss, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. And that is it for this unicorn inspired makeup tutorial. Now, I really hope that you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, the usual, then you know the drill. All my social media will be down below, as well as the list of products that I use in this video. So, I really hope to see you next time, and bye!